the company is based on the electrocardiographic mapping technology, which is a technology that was developed by Dr. Yoram Rudy. And I, uh, myself, and Pingjia, who is the other co-founder of the company, were graduate students in his lab. And we were, the, the technology was at, at such a stage that we were starting to get really good results in animal experiments, and we were involved in transitioning it from animal to human data. And we were getting really good human data, so it just seemed perfect that the technology had come of age to get into the commercial realm. The heart is a mechanical pump. It contracts rhythmically pumping blood to the whole body. And this mechanical pumping action is controlled by the electrical activity of the heart, rhythmic, what you call as your heartbeat. And an e, if you've had an EKG or an ECG, it, it shows this rhythmic activity. And any time there is a problem with the rhythm, it's called an arrhythmia or arrhythmia, maybe because of heart disease, maybe because you're born with it, or maybe because of a heart attack, etc. We, the, the physician needs to go in and treat it. And we are a non-invasive diagnostic device that helps the physician non-invasively plan the procedure or during the procedure kind of see what's going on on the heart. It's a, an array of ECG sensors that kind of go on like a garment on the body surface and we measure electrocardiogram from all over the body surface because that reflects the electrical activity of the heart and then we combine this with a CT scan that gives the anatomy of the heart with respect to these sensors and using that we generate non-invasively electrical maps of the heart which uh, and all the colors uh, are indicative of a certain kind of information that the physician needs to diagnose the arrhythmia. First of all, Cardio Insight is a Cleveland company because we, uh, the company was formed out of Cleveland-based technology from Case Western Reserve University. So when we were graduate students, the Case Tech Transfer Office helped us transfer this technology into a startup company. And we've also been portfolio companies of Jumpstart as well as Bio Enterprise. Both of them develop, uh, helped us develop our business plan from early stages when we were still wondering how we're going to take this to the commercial realm, how this is going to be a clinical tool, who, what, how, how much money, and how are we going to make money from this. So all of these things, they helped us plan. Uh, we've used vehicles of the entrepreneurs and residents. Um, they've invested, Jumpstart has invested in our company, and they've also given us access to their networks. Like today, if we had a job uh, or opportunity or something for an engineering project, they are the people that we would approach, hey, do you know someone to do this? And it seems like it's such a small world here in Cleveland where you have access to everybody that's plugged in, not to mention the Cleveland Clinic and University Hospitals, two top-notch uh, cardiovascular centers. We have access to the physicians. We co-develop technology. We have clinical sites there. I mean, this is the place to be. I mean, literally in university circle, it's really the place to be. from Case and University of Akron. We have some really good universities in this area and people that actually come from different parts of the United States and the world to study here are starting to stay here. And it's sort of like a, a cyclic effect that companies like Cardio Insight offer opportunities for these highly trained professionals and thereby more professionals choose to stay here. And we really are happy to be part of developing this critical mass for Cleveland. And I think when we started Cardio Insight, it was in the starting phase, and now it's gaining momentum. And we we're very happy to say that a lot of our employees are local. They are from Cleveland or the outskirts of Cleveland. And uh, we're also attracting uh, people like Steve Arliss, who is our CEO, as well as our VP Product Development, uh, Dr. Harold Wardlinger, both of them highly experienced in the field, to this area to work in companies like Cardio Insight. Yes, I think our, if you look at our employee role, uh, you know, it's evidence in itself. Our VP Finance is locally from Cleveland. He went to school here, he trained here, he's, he's, uh, he's here. And uh, he's Kevin Mendelson. He, he was with Jumpstart before he joined us, but he's, you know, he's here. We have uh, our VP of Regulatory Affairs, Christina Vaca, highly qualified. 
um, in leading us through the FDA as well as our European strategies. She's local, she's from here. Uh, all of our software engineers are from the Cleveland area. Our software manager, John Anderson, he is he was experienced with Philips and a whole bunch of uh, medical device companies. He is local. He's been with us uh, for a long time now. I mean, we've I can go on and on. In University of Akron graduates, Case Western Reserve University, people that have worked with other medical device companies that have moved to Cleveland. Um, and were part of Cleveland before and came to us because they wanted to come back here again. So I think it's, it's working out really well. I think it's going to bring the right kind of attention uh, because we, um, you can, you know, I'm sure you'd agree with me, we're really transforming Cleveland from an old industrial town to a high tech hub. And I think this is all part of that. And it, it is really putting us on the map. We want to be a dot on the map of high-tech high tech industry. And that's what the medical mart and those kind of enterprises bring to the city. And I'm, I'm really thrilled to be part of it. I love it. I have two children, 12 and 7. And my husband also was in a startup company. He is in a startup company. Athersis, who is a biopharmaceutical company down the street in Midtown. And we live in Solon, which has some of the best schools in the country. And all in all, it takes me no more than half an hour to get anywhere, anywhere that's anywhere. anywhere. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's great. I mean, it, it really, there's no overheads that a lot of people in really big cities with really big traffic networks have to go through. I think all in all, it's been a win-win situation living here and working here.